Well, we've all heard of nanotechnology. It is about stuff that's really, really small. But now this technology is starting to make its way into the home. King 5's Glenn Farley tonight with a story of how small we're really talking about. This is the nanotechnology lab at the University of Washington. This electron microscope is looking at gold dust. Now, make that really fine gold powder. The bigger pieces seen on this computer screen about one one thousandth the thickness of a human hair. As you shrink the scale of material, they start exhibiting some unique properties. Francois Banyix heads the University of Washington Center for Nanotechnology. The center works with businesses, medical researchers, and others to develop everything from new products to potential medical cures. It can open like remarkable new possibilities. I mean, I think that we're going to see products that didn't exist before. Here's the untreated piece. Nanotechnology is starting to make its way into the home. Toilet paper will absorb water. But what if that toilet paper was treated with a layer of super microscopic glass-like beads? Wow. And it just rolls right off. It actually bonded. Kelly Burkett and Ken Hansen are partners in a new Seattle startup company called Nano Safeguard. They distribute a line of nano products invented in Germany that protect furniture, clothing, even car finishes from water and dirt. And nothing sticks to it. And it's an easy clean effect and a self-cleaning effect. One of the other uses is on car windshields. You rub this stuff on and it's supposed to keep the water from sticking to the glass. And Nano Safeguard claims the difference between this and other water repelling products that have been around for years is that theirs lasts much longer. It's one of life's little benefits from nanotechnology. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Nano Safeguard is not affiliated with the University of Washington. They're planning to sell it through stores, but for now it's only available online. So we won't need that to keep the rain off us in the next 24 hours, right? No, we might get a sprinkle or two, but certainly nothing major that we'd need that. I wish they'd done that to my car. My car's windshield needs a little bit of cleaning. Let's